I want to remind you also of fact families that you have studied in third grade, for example, with multiplication and division. If I have here multiplication problems, seven times four hundredths. So my answer is 28 hundredths, right? But I can write another multiplication by switching the order of these factors here. And then I can write the division. The division always started with your total, with this number here. Divided by 7 would be 4 hundredths. And then there's one more division. Starts with the same, but divided by 4 hundredths and equals 7. Okay? And I want you to especially look at this. It looks kind of weird, maybe. If, you, if this is the first time you see a decimal divided by a decimal, the answer is 7. Like a really big number compared to this that you start with. But think of it this way. Division can always be thought of in this second way too, instead of sharing. You know, here we did sharing divisions. This is called a measurement division, so to speak. But you think, how many times does this number fit into this number? How many times does four hundredths fit into 28 hundredths? And then it makes sense to get an answer of seven times. Here's another fact family we can build. It starts with a division. This is 108 thousandths. So we'll use the blueberry muffin trick, right? So 108 blueberry muffins divided between 12 persons. Each person would get nine muffins. But I had thousandths, so I'll make this nine thousandths. And then I can write another division. It starts with the same number, but then I put here nine thousandths, and the answer is 12. And then the two multiplications, 12 times Nine thousandths is hundred and eight thousandths, and then just the other way around here. Now these next problems we're going to solve using the idea of how many times does this number fit into here. And they become pretty easy. How many times does three tenths fit into nine tenths? Well, that's the same as asking how many times does three fit into nine. The answer is three. Notice, you do not put here 0 0.3 or any other decimal. It is 3, the whole number 3. You can check by multiplying. 3 times 3 tenths equals 9 tenths. It checks. Here, how many times does 6 hundredths fit into 48 hundredths? 8 times, right? How many times does 2 tenths fit into 1 and 2 tenths? It's the same as asking how many times does 2 fit into 12? Six times. Over here, how about how many halves do I, do I have in five? You can probably count them. Draw pictures. Ten. Ten halves are in five. How many thousandths are in one? Thousand, right? Or how many tenths are in two and three tenths? Well, in one, you would have ten tenths. In two, you will have another you will have 20, and then here's three more, so 23. Lastly, we'll solve a word problem that relates to that idea. How many 0.4 meter pieces can you cut off from a 12 meter roll of river? What is it, Matthew? Oh, mm, okay, yeah, mm, no, 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 it isn't, I don't think. He's asking me, is this ribbon, you know, is it given as prizes for those who win math competitions like, like himself? No, it isn't math. It's this ribbon. It's just a word problem. I don't know what it's going to be used for. Okay. There's actually several ways to solve this. One is to use the idea of division. How many times does it fit? This is that type of problem. How many times does this fit or go into the 12 meters, you know? So my division would be 12 meters divided by... This. It's written this way, okay? Because our question is, how many times does this here fit into 12 meters? Not vice versa, okay? Students might write it just the opposite way. And to solve it, here is 4 tenths. I would need to have tenths here too, so I can think in tenths, you know. 4 tenths, and then how many tenths would I have here in 12 meters? It might help. 
it might help if I change this to like this and I can see that it's going to be 120 tenths and then 4 tenths 4 tenths fits into 120 tenths the same number of times as 4 fits into 120 so 30 times okay what's that Mati? something again Mati has another way to solve this problem we'll tell you real quick yeah right think of 2 meters think of okay yeah I got that Another way to solve this math might be easier. Change it to something easier. How many 0.4 meter pieces can you cut off 2 meters of ribbon? Okay, 2 meters of ribbon. See, you can even think of 200 centimeters and 40 centimeters. You would get 5 pieces. And then 12 meters. Okay, there's a 6 fold difference here, 6 times, so you go this times 6 and get 30. Yep. I hope this was helpful.